Let's take a few minutes to discuss four common environmental hazards real estate agents may have to deal with. They are lead-based paints, asbestos, radon, and mold. Excessive exposure to lead can be toxic to humans and animals. The main form of lead contamination you'll need to be aware of is the presence of lead-based paint, which was commonly used in homes built prior to 1978. When you're representing a home that was built prior to 1978, part of your documentation must include disclosures and an EPA-approved hazard information pamphlet. You also must allow potential buyers at least 10 days to conduct a risk assessment or inspection for the presence of lead-based paint. Failure to provide lead-based paint disclosures won't necessarily affect the validity of a real estate sale, but if the buyer discovers that a seller was aware of lead-based paint and didn't disclose it, there can be significant penalties. It's worth noting that this law only applies to residential properties. At one time, asbestos was a popular substance used for insulation. But once it was linked to serious health issues, the federal government enacted strict rules in its use in insulation and other areas where people can come into contact with it. If you're working with a property that you think could contain asbestos, the best course of action is for the owner to have the property inspected. Exposure to asbestos can increase the risk of various health issues such as lung disease and certain forms of cancer. Radon is a radioactive gas found in soil and it's also one of the leading causes of lung cancer. Most of the time, radon breaks down while it's still in the soil and becomes harmless. However, sometimes it can reach the surface through vaporization or move into an underground water supply. Airborne radon is more common and can enter into the home through cracks or imperfections in the foundation. Finally, let's discuss mold. Mold is a fungus that basically exists everywhere. Real estate agents need to be aware of molds that are toxic to humans. Molds can even grow in well-ventilated homes, but a home with excess moisture and poor ventilation is even more at risk. Health hazards associated with mold generally only develop with long-term exposure, but it can cause allergic, respiratory, and immune-related symptoms. While real estate agents aren't expected to find issues not visible to them, you should still keep an eye out for any obvious hazardous substances in a home, as well as comply with state or federal disclosure requirements.